Hey guys, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at how you can mix motions together with walking animation using the Motion Director system. With mixer weighting, you can precisely customize how two motions will mix together. There are a number of embedded mixer motions included free with iClone, and you can also add your own motions to the motion library that you can also use to mix with others. Let's take a look at some of the free embedded mixer motions first. The first thing you want to do in order to use the Motion Director tool is to apply an IMD to your character. There are a number of free IMDs for different character types that can be found in the free Motion Director pack in the Content Manager. I'll apply a casual All Male in this case for my male actor. Once loaded, we can go ahead and start Motion Director. The purple buttons in the MD Triggers panel are all mixer motions or mixers. This means that they can be animated separately from the lower body in either an idle or locomotive state. You can see how our actor can look at his watch in an idle state, walking at speed level 2, level 1, and even running. If you look at the phone and cigarette mixers, you can see a sort of hierarchy on the buttons, meaning that they each have submixers. Once I hit the phone mixer, you'll see them appear as darker purple buttons. You can test them out to see the flawless motion transition with the base mixer. Note that if the submixer has a loop indicator on it, it will continue to loop until you take another action. You can click leave to exit the mixer state, and your actor will put the phone back in his pocket. You can see that the cigarette mixer has a similar behavior structure, and when leaving this mixer, the actor will throw the cigarette on the ground. You can get a good look at the behavior hierarchy in the Behavior Settings tab. Here you'll be able to set the loop state, and also the mixer weights, which we'll talk about next. Now we're dealing with a female actor with a very basic IMD compared to the last one. What I want to do here is add a mixer so we can see how bone weight adjustment comes in handy. To get started, click on add slash delete behavior, then click and drag your eye motion to the mix item to assign it. You'll then want to click and drag it to a slot in the perform slash mixer triggers to assign a trigger hotkey, and finally hit apply. When we start Motion Director and try to apply the newly added mixer while walking, you'll see our character swing awkwardly back and forth due to incorrect weight settings. What you want to do in this case is right click on your mixer and select Adjust Mixer Weights. Here under Presets, you can select either arm or the upper body. If I select the right arm only and hit Apply with a bone weight of zero, then the entire arm will revert to the walking motion with 0% weight towards the phone talking motion. If you do the same with the upper body, you'll get a slight change as well. You can also select individual bones like the Spine 02 here and adjust the weight to your preference. Okay, lastly, let's look at creating a custom mixer. This actor on the screen has a standard male IMD loaded, and I'm going to proceed to add a mixer and edit it via the timeline. To get started, I'll add this motion to the mixer slot from the Content Manager. Then assign it a trigger hotkey, and apply. When I test it out, you can see that initially it has a similar issue as the last case, with upper body tilting and a less than ideal transition blend. Let's deal with the tilting first by adjusting the bone weight values of the upper body. You can see that I'm selecting multiple bones and adjusting their weight values simultaneously. Depending on the motion and the result you want, you may need to switch between hierarchy groups and individual bones and adjust their respective weights to different values. The results look decent, but we can take another step to improve the transition results. We need to refine the blending to generate a natural looking transition to the mixer state. To do so, I'll right click the mixer and select Edit Motion in Timeline. You can see that the motion starts off in a crouched position, which isn't ideal for mixing with a standing idle or walk. So I'll start by breaking the clip after the actor stands up, and deleting the crouch section. Then do the same for the end of the clip. Then I can ensure the clip is selected, click and drag in the Collect Clip Track, 
and overwrite the selected MD behavior motion. Now when we test it, there is less of an awkward initial positioning of the upper body as the source motion is all generated from a standing position. Again, you'll still need to adjust the various bone weight values. In this case, the various levels of the arm hierarchies may need to be adjusted separately, not to mention the neck bones, as the head position should conform more to the initial idle or walk, as we want the character to be looking forward as opposed to sideways. Once you've achieved the look that you want, you can test it out with any sort of prop in your scene to see the results. That's about it for this introductory tutorial to the Motion Mixer. Be sure to check out our other Motion Director tutorials for more tips on how to use this innovative tool. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.